welcome, welcome back, Hello Mental Oracle. Happy to have you as always. Um, this is going to be a collective development rating for all signs. So that's your back, that's your back. Um, this is for my illuminators. We all need to know, we all need to hear. Um, so yeah, we're going to jump right in. Let's, let's go ahead and do this uh, prayer, y'all. You know how we do right here. Father God, Mother Divine, Archangel Michael, please cover me and my collective as we receive these messages today. We only receive messages of a highest vibration, messages you deem for us to receive. Any ill will, evil energy, sit away, kindly block or turn our energy back to the rightful owner, bind them up in their own energy so they never harm anyone again in Jesus' name. Amen. Ashe, ashe, okay. All right. So, um, I got called to do this one. Um. I'm being told to inform you that um, to you're going to want to move like a newborn in this new era. For some of y'all, y'all have gone through quite a lot of healing here. <laughs> Perhaps in the shock of some. Um, this is the first card that came out. Some of the last reading. But um, there's a love reading. And so, like, I kind of feel like uh, whenever I feel called, when certain cards kind of pop out to me, like, mm, there's something about these, something over here. Uh, sometimes I feel the urge to keep some of those cards aside for the next reading, which usually is the development reading. Um, because it feels like it speaks to more than just love. And I feel like with the counter, with, okay, some of y'all are in counterpart situations, uh, or coming in counterpart situations, okay? Uh, but here, even as an individual, even for the individual, we have all, uh, along this awakening, have had to hmm, be awakened to all the ways we've learned to cope along this way, along this journey, in the new ways, in the new ways we want to cope. Okay, so this this card says healing ways to cope with the heart on there and the pink, and so it's like here it says moving past old habits. For uplifting ones, okay. Something as simple as um, <laughs> all right, bomber moment. <laughs> personal moment for me um i'm a midwest boy okay born and raised um i mean i was kind of raised in various places but for the most part i was born and raised in the midwest and my family um where i'm from you know i'm a black american male and so my family you know it's not unique i mean it's not it's very a lot of ethnic people uh use like food to kind of center family situations or rituals or whatnot. Um, so it's not very unique to my family in particular, but I mean, a lot of people, you know, a lot of us use our traumas through food. And a lot of that starts in the family. Um, and so that was definitely a lot of the ways, a lot of the early ways that I coped with every emotion I was feeling. Mm, not really my early childhood, but, but, I say around 10, 9, 10. Mm. <laughs> no, I always had changes in my childhood, but 9, 10, there were like extreme changes, right? More extreme changes that I think I just, yeah, all of a sudden I became the chubby kid for a while because of that um, until I decided not to be a chubby kid. And then I was chubby again. And then I was not. And then it's just like kind of became a theme for me, just yo-yo dieting up and down because I was using food as a way to cope. And so for me, I started to integrate um, years ago uh, fasting. <laughs> and I, it's just something that to anyone else, if you talk about this and bring that up, I remember when I first started doing it, people would say the things, say the craziest things to me. Like, you're gonna die! You have to eat all the time! What are you gonna do without those three hearty meals a day? 
you're just gonna fade away and none of that happened and I really had to stop and think about like what is that about like you really can't it's almost like you can't have discussions with people you definitely can't tell them your ideas and what you're thinking about because they'll hammer their own fears anxieties hang-ups They'll like rain that all over on all over on top of your head, and it's just like what? Uh, I've even had situations now where it's like even if I decide, and I don't even I don't even like. Uh, it's funny, because um, I still fast periodically. I usually intermittent intermittent fast, so it's just like you know having eating windows or whatnot. Um, but every now and again, I'm a Scorpio child, a Scorpio son, okay? Um, and, and Scorpio in some other places. And so it's not unusual for me to find <laughs> a little bit of extreme ways to feel in control, especially in my physical body. Um, and so whatever ways works for you is what works for you. And I had to get into the habit of not disclosing what I was going to do. <laughs> Just do it. And then if you decide you want to share, come back after it's done. Be like, look what I did. You know what I you know what I said? You know what I did? <laughs> and then watch their reaction after the fact, but not before the fact. I know for me, I, I get myself tripped up in my early earlier years of adulthood and just you know my youth my youthier my youthier youth youthier youth my more youth no let me get out of here um uh, because back then for me you know i didn't have enough confidence in myself i didn't have enough confidence in my decisions the things that i wanted to do and so i would sound birth i would sound bored off people a lot I'm that kind of person. I like to. Sh I like the idea of sharing. <laughs> Gemini Moon, you know. I like the idea. I feel like that's an important part of life is sharing. Um, and even when it comes to my ideas, <laughs> I feel like and I, I, there's no kind of. I, I got so many of these to give. <laughs> you know, there's no limit here, and so I like to give it. But the thing is, I had to learn that that no. You have to you have to be certain that people that you're in the environment that's that is stable for you to, to give and share like that. Because if you have the ability to do all that, then it's it's starting to sound like you could be a butterfly. And if you're a butterfly, who are you do who are you who are you being a butterfly for? Are they other butterflies? Because it sounds like they're, they're taking a lot off of you or they're needing a lot from you and so maybe they're not maybe you're not around other butterflies <laughs> maybe you're on caterpillars or something roaches I don't know who you're around <laughs> it's gonna be different for everybody but the thing is that you know if you teach if you tell an, if you if you butterfly tell on another butterfly butterfly business that butterfly gonna be like ooh well, look at me, but look at me be a butterfly too. But if you're a butterfly talking butterfly business, and that whoever you're talking to looks at you like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? That's probably not a butterfly. You probably need to run, okay? And stop telling telling them your business, and stop telling them your moves, okay? Um, I feel like where you're going to, wherever you're headed, is brand new. Unlike anything you've ever seen, anything you ever, you, this is why spirit wants you to move like you're a newborn in this new world, because it feels like the past was just practice. All of that was just practice, not so you could get pillaged off of your entire life, but so you could identify these types of personality or the, the personality types. Okay, Martin Luther King said, you know, we need to stop. Mm. No, what he said was, <laughs> uh, what was that? Um, 
we need to judge people based off of the content of their character, not by the color of their skin. That was what he said, right? But um, I feel that way in today's world. To this day, he was right. <laughs> you know, we need to stop over um, associating ourselves with these groups <laughs> and getting ourselves played. Because this is the age of Aquarius, not the age of Pisces anymore. In the age of Pisces, what we're coming out of, it was safe, say, for us to find these groups to hide under, not hide under, but like, you know, we wanted to feel a part of a group. <laughs> but in the age of Aquarius, it doesn't serve us to, to have this urge to be a part of a group. We need to know what this group is about. <laughs> like, we need to understand that, you know, that group is for our service and not against us. Um, or else we'll get caught up. I feel like in the age of Aquarius, this is the age of being caught up. And a lot of times people get caught up following, um, I don't know, feeling they belong to a group that really ain't for them like that anyways. <laughs> you know? Um, what am I, this may sound confusing what I'm saying. And so I want to give an example, and I like to I like to parlay this into <laughs> goddess energy and pop and pop culture and pop divas. That's how, how I like to do things, and so I associate it this way. My favorite singer of all time, Whitney Houston. Okay, rest in paradise to her. Um, but as she was coming up, when she as she was coming up, she's someone. Do you get that horn in the background? As she was coming up, there's a horn coming up for y'all. <laughs> There's something coming out. But she felt being, you know, a black lady, a black woman, beautiful black woman, that she felt a duty to her community. She felt a beauty, a, a duty to be a, a proper representation. Um, she had to balance so many different things, right? She had to kind of be, she, she had to be so many things for so many people that she couldn't even, she couldn't even, she didn't know how to be any of those things for herself. But yet, these people will sit here and be like, oh, what was me? Her life is so tragic. Blah, blah, blah. It's just like, she came here. That soul came and lived their soul life. <laughs> that soul did exactly what they were supposed to do. That soul left the mark. You know, that Whitney Houston, that, that Whitney Houston was, that was not, that soul, that was not their only lifetime. And by the time they became Whitney Houston, they, they probably had a whole bunch of lives, okay? By the way. But, anywho, when she came out, she was the biggest the biggest pop star of all time, it was shocking to her that there was this community, that, that there was this conversation about her, about her legitimacy, about her loyalty to even her own people. Why? Because of the type of music she was singing. Well, what was the type of music she was singing? Pop music? What's wrong with that? <laughs> But the thing is, is that there is nothing wrong with that. And when you look back at time, it doesn't age well. Those groups of people, like Al Sharpton, he's a political figure in, in the society. Sadly enough, but he well, he's been a political figure in this society for generations, sadly enough. But once upon a time in the 80s, he had protest signs out for Whitney Houston protesting her. Because she was a villain to society? No. Because she was singing pop music. Because she because she was following her ancestors that came before her that said, you need to be the person that you look like. You need to be who you are. You need to look like who you look like. And you need to be the biggest pop star of the world. Because the world didn't see you like that. That's the way it was destined to be. That's the way it happened to be. That's what happened. And so that's the mess. The, the moral I'm saying here is that you collective have had to learn to stop over showing over loyalty to these groups or places, people and things that when it came down to it, they probably would have tossed you out or replaced you or, you know, what is reading about? I can't believe I talked for that long in this reading. What if you get this short either way? What is this reading about Holy Spirit? Wings. You have wings. We was the butterfly and the caterpillars. Putting on performance for, for caterpillars and making them feel 
trying to make them feel better about themselves, trying to make them grow to their potential. When in fact, all you were doing was making yourself a target because those people weren't going to meet their potential, okay? For some of y'all, y'all had to learn that y'all had wings and y'all had to get them out of there. Some of y'all, some places, people own things, some places y'all may have had to remove yourselves quite quicker than you even anticipated because it just became unsafe or this card says wings you never needed those wings you you never needed those wings to fly eight you never needed wings to fly so that's what it was these people knew about that they probably these people probably looked at you and just waited for you they probably never said it but they probably knew that you were going to find your way out of something thorns weave together the crown you deserve 14 can be significant weave together the crown you deserve that's how they always knew you would find your way out of it because they know you to be royal they know you to have the ideas inside you they know that it's just an it's just a matter of time before you know you find your way out and this is not only have you found your way out but you're grateful for the experience do you know what that does in the manifestation world <laughs> for you to not only get through situations and there's no get back there's no payback <laughs> there's no revenge it's just like look i understand we all just do the best that we can look i understand we all do the best that we can but it's not going to be on your back anymore. It's all you saying. But just saying that alone is enough. It, it, it cleared a room. You got people saying, oh, wait, who does collective think they are? Just who you are, my darlings. It's just who you are. Ain't nothing less. Be your best. Okay? Mirror. Treat your body like the palace that it is. Okay, four can be significant. So taking one's power. Also changing the way. It's funny that that card pops out because body image can very well be a part of the situation as well. Being more, having more healing ways to cope. Finding more healing ways to cope for oneself. All right? Garden. Something lovely will grow from this. That's exactly what's happening. If you allow it to. The past was practice. Spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. For some of y'all, it's going to be standing on platforms, communicating or expressing yourselves in ways that you've never done before. And Spirit is saying, you were created for this. That's what this is about. And you got, you got the stories. You, got, you now got the testimony. <laughs> and the thing is that people, three, two, one, there's a countdown happening here as I'm recording this. Three, two, one. 321 um, people connect with you because they can feel in your energy that you've been through things and it's not just you know you're not just coming on here talking about BS like this is something that that your experience feels real to people I feel like you're heavily supported and protected through this time. There's a spaceship here at the bottom. And there's your spiritual team right here. It's like you're being prepared you're being prepared to propel. So don't dwell. You know, keep your manifestation portal clear. And be in the energy of all you desire already, like it's already here. Villain. 38 could be significant. This card says you can always rewrite your story. This card to me means throwing away at all of what you thought you were. Especially if it was anyway connected to any of the people of your past because that's not who you really were. It was just who you created yourself to be for that period of time you know the thing is, is that when we we're children we learn how to make our first mask then and it sadly enough is not out of 
playfulness it's not out of imaginary time it's through a trauma response as children we learn we, we are very equipped and very smart as young beings because we, we really are that close to source we just came from there as children and so we develop trauma responses and one of those trauma responses we learn is how to create masks because it even as children it could seem or seem like it would be easier we learn the ways in which it's painful to move about the world quite early so we start to develop ways in which we can move about the world that feels less painful for us in our, in our within our environment for whatever reason that may be but just because we've developed those masks to get us through those times it does not mean that those masks can get us through our our time in which we are free because when we're children we don't have the ability to dictate where we are we don't have the ability to dictate where we feel safe we kind of just have to go with what the situation is and who we're around and hope for the best that's you know what we have to go through as children um, and so we have to we have to we have to we have to <laughs> I don't even know the description to, to to explain what we have to do with that shit we have to purge it from our system that's what it is thanks spirit we have to purge it all that shit all that shit I keep thinking of that that old like um when I was into celebrity gossip back in the day I used to watch lovely T on YouTube a lot um, and she used to, oh, I love like little memes and things, how she would edit her videos and splice in memes. I would never do that because it takes too much eye on eye. But uh, there's this meme that she used to always use um, with this young child uh, saying, delete that shit, delete all that shit. It's one of those viral memes that was just like all around. Delete that shit, delete all that shit. And that's how I feel when it comes to that initial programming that y'all have to do as children. If you haven't done it yet, you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to delete all that shit from your brain. Because it's it's not going to do you any good now. It's done. Pour liquor on that person in that personality type that you knew back then. Mural. This card says, be your own first priority. And look at what she's doing. She's manifesting her desires. Visualizing it, painting it, pursuing it. And let, releasing it. And knowing it to be, knowing it to exist exactly how she saw it. Or how he's painting it. Whatever it may be. Um, let's see. What else is coming through to my collective Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. We got... Beware of crabs in the barrel mindsets, okay? And people that's trying to get you to be in that crab in a barrel mindset of scarcity. Beware. Um, it says they'll take you down. All right? One more card. All right? Yeah, because you're an independent thinker. And independent thinkers can trigger people, okay? And independent thinkers are usually like, and this breaks my heart. Oh, my gosh. Um, independent thinkers are usually as children like whiz kids because they're destined to grow up to be wizards okay but as children it's like their minds are naturally programmed to think in all sorts of ways in abstract ways these are our, our, our these are our inventors our creators like these are like future big minds okay but these future big minds usually start off as being those little uh, whiz kids that just have these questions like, well, why is it like that? Well, why is it like that? Once upon a time, these were the very same kids that were being slapped upside the head, slapped across the mouth. You know, kids should be seen and not heard. I was, I was told, I was told that as a child, kids should be seen and not heard. You know, things of that nature. The further you go back, the more tragic kids are treated. But you know, 
know, oftentimes, you know, wizards were whiz kids. They were, you know, maybe disruptors of classrooms. Maybe they were put off or treated like bad kids or treated like, um, I wasn't a bad kid, but I was a chatter. Sometimes, sometimes kids are just like super chatty in class and they can be seen or painted in certain lights because of that. Well, really, they're just whiz kids trying to process their talent, their skills, their natural skills. But education and a lot of our societies don't teach from that place. They don't teach from a place of um, the individual. They teach from a place of, of cattle and how to wash over society as opposed to how to rise them up okay so you know that's what it is here okay you've got you've got the power <laughs> and also your support is here okay your spiritual team your spiritual crew um you were constructed to be this independent independent thinker for a reason okay but i do have a message here it says pick your battles wisely though okay so stick so you can to stay free pick your battles but stay free meaning with this independent mind of yours it almost feels like the spirit put this independent mind of yours for a specific reason and you're going to know what that reason and calling is but you probably had to learn throughout your throughout this course up until this point that it would do you no good to be to be arguing or just because you're an independent thinker doesn't mean that you have to have an opinion on everything. Because if you decide to have an opinion on everything, then you're going to exhaust yourself. And so spirit put that talent in you not to have an opinion on everything, but for something, but for some things very specifically. And you're only going to know what those things are if you're listening to your spiritual crew. <laughs> it's going to be different for everybody, but you have this independent mind for a reason, my darlings. Yes. I think um, that's it. That's oh, that's longer than I wanted this to be. So with that said, peace out. Peace out.